video which shows the father incriminating his son in a murder investigation. Abdul Robinson is just one of five men linked to the shooting death of Charles McCormick. News for Jackson footer Janice Harris joining us live from the Duval County Courthouse after listening to a 21 minute video of Abdul Robinson <coughs> Jr. Janice talking about the <coughs> charges including his own two sons. We're learning lots of <coughs> That this video was released through the state attorney's office, and with that, Abdul Robinson Sr. is heard on that video talking to the state attorney's office, and he says his son, Hakeem Robertson, is a shooter involved in Charles McCormick's murder. It's one of many things that Robinson Sr. says, and a jury could see this as incriminating when and if a trial happens. <laughs> This is Abdul Robinson Sr. in the green, his attorney in the gray suit, and an unidentified man at the bottom left of the screen. A member of the state attorney's office, the prosecuting office, is seen on the bottom right. Robinson Sr. is about to make a sworn statement. From you, if you would, please raise your right hand. Mr. Robinson, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. Abdul Robinson Sr. has been identified by JSO as a local leader of a violent gang. January 15th, 2020, 23-year-old Charles McCormick was shot and killed in this community on Merle Road. JSO has arrested Dominique Barner, Hakeem Robinson, Leroy Whitaker, and Abdul Robinson Jr. for McCormick's murder. Robinson Sr. is facing accessory after the fact before this interrogation video. Robinson Sr. told the state attorney's office that his son, Hakeem Robinson, posted on Instagram an incriminating message after McCormick was murdered. All of the stories on the story of saying that kill and get the toes done. And was that depicting Hakeem Robinson? So what? Did that, you said it was on the story, was that an Instagram story? Yeah, Instagram story. And was that something that was posted by Hakeem Robinson? Yes, sir. When you saw that, were you upset? Yes, sir. Did you try and reach out and speak to Hakeem Robinson? Yes, sir. And when you spoke to him, what did you tell him? I told him he needed to take that down. Did he deny being involved when you told him to take that down? No. During questioning, Robinson Sr. tells the state he believes his son, Hakeem Robinson, is seen on dash cam at McCormick's murder scene. Now, as part of the discovery in this case, you've had an opportunity with your attorney to watch what I'll refer to as a dash cam video, a video that actually recorded the murder of Charles McCormick, is that correct? Yes, sir. And you've watched that? Yes, sir. Did you recognize the shooter? Yes, sir. Who was the shooter in that video? Hakeem Robinson. Your son, Hakeem Robinson? Yes, sir. Robinson's father also told prosecutors he thought his son, Hakeem Robinson, was the shooter based upon these sneakers the gunman is seen wearing and guns that he says his son has had before and after the shooting. Hakeem Robinson's attorney, Chris DeCoste, has told News for Jackson previous interviews the gunman in the dash cam video is not his client. This is Robinson Sr.'s court record showing his guilty plea. He could face up to 20 years in prison. Barner, Robinson Jr., Hakeem Robinson, and Whitaker are all awaiting trial for Charles McCormick's murder. It's likely this video will be seen again if and when a trial happens. And this is a look at the next court date for these young men of the five men dominique barner's next hearing according to court records is on february 1st abdul kareem robinson jr his next hearing is january 31st as well as hakeem robertson and also leroy whitaker the law be held here in the duval county courthouse reporting live from the duval county courthouse janice harris channel four yo 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 <coughs> Y'all heard it right there. I said this to my homeboys. I said this to a lot of people. There's three, there's three stop sides to every damn story, man. And that is your side, their side, and then the truth. Me personally, it broke my heart to see that. It broke my heart into two pieces. On one side, how could a father do that? But on another side, how could a son do that? 
You know, I tell people all of this time, I, you know, all of this, especially if y'all listen to the video, I'm going to address this first. All of this Instagram and Facebook and Twitter, all this gangster stuff on the internet, this shit is crazy, bro. And people still keep doing it. Videos, talking about this, talking about that, beefing with each other, bro. And then when something goes down, they're going to catch you because these apps are ran by them. It's to keep tabs on all of us. I'm going to start with queso, man. You know, if it is true that... I'm not, I'm not saying tell on yourself, but something got to be said, man, you know. It's like, you can't... Why would you leave your daddy in there like that? You know what I mean? First off, if it was me, which it would never be me because I never pull no stunts like this. I'm not out here playing with these people like that and playing with dudes and beefing and all that, but just my opinion. I wouldn't leave my pops in there. Now, at the same time, you know, this is all speculation because you got to understand that people were masked up when this shit happened. You know what I mean? This could have been a situation where, you know, everybody could have sat, stayed quiet, and everybody could have been free. But then for the leader of the gang, at least that's what they're saying. And for the parent to crack first, the pops. It's like, that's crazy. Your son has a whole had a whole life ahead of him. He has a goddamn rap career, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying you should stay locked up and take the murder, but it's like you should have been quiet. You're sitting there ter- telling the uh, district attorney's office, oh, yeah, I know how he looks. I know how he looks when he runs, when he stands up, what his size is. It's my son. So basically, you're going to get on the stand and try to identify your son when he has a mask on. They can't prove that that was him. Yes, they do have some type of evidence that could stick, but that, what you just did, your testimony, your confession is what's really going to get everybody booked. Four other black men booked. If it was me, and I was one of Queso's homeboys, I'd be mad at both of them. Because when you post the shit on the internet, and two of your pops is a motherfucking rat. But like I said, though, okay, so you know what I mean? <clears throat> I guess you might be just trying to stay quiet. I don't know how you could say, you know what I mean, oh, my pops wasn't with me when you're trying to prove that you didn't do it. So it's like, I get it. You know what I mean? It's a fucked up situation, but you still look bad because it looks like you just got your dad in jail. You know what I mean? And your dad flipped on you. Every second. Every minute, every hour, every day, that's something that your lawyer is going to inform you and you're going to have to accept. Your own dad flipped on you. That's crazy, man. The truth going to come out. There's always hope. But it's like at this point now, it ain't looking good because somebody coming and acting like they know the story, like they're going to tell the story. And when that happens, it's never good. We got to stop this, you know what I mean? Yeah, you got even NBA young boys saying stop the violence. You know what I mean? Some people may never see the light again. I mean, Queso Pops might be out, but who's, who's guaranteeing what they doing? What kind of plea deal is he getting? He not out like Gunner. Was it even worth it? It's never worth it when you're trying to portray that lifestyle. That's why I be saying all these people have opportunities to stay on the sidewalk. You don't never got to jump in the street. You know what I mean? Your boys can be your boys, blah, blah, blah. Some people cut from that cloth. Some people ain't. Stay yourself on the sidewalk. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with punching in the clock, hitting a punch in the clock. There's nothing wrong with not being out in the streets. I know a lot of real niggas that's not in the streets that'll still bust your ass if they have to, whether it's with their hands or with whatever. We don't got to get tied up in all that nigga shit. You don't. We don't got to get tied up in all that. It's not even nigga shit. Bullshit. You don't got to get tied up in none of that.
We all got opinions about this situation, but only five people's lives is affected by it. And clearly one of them is willing to, get, willing to go against the code and change his morals and stand on something else to get free. And that's somebody that's an elder to Queso. Hell, his damn pops. You never know if he orchestrated that and then just turned around and told. You know what I mean? But it's a sad situation and it's fucked up. Yeah, let it go up, I'm out.